This is the relative range of motion exercise for, for your neck. We do explain a little bit over the phone that, for example, if, if I turn my head to the left and I've got pain there, I, want, I still want that information going to the nervous system, but if I got pain, it's not gonna be productive for us. So this is something you can do standing, and then I'm gonna show you one that's easier lying down. If you look at the mirror or focus on an object on the wall straight forward, you're gonna keep your head and everything centered and straight, but you're only gonna rotate the body around. And I'm on my knees here for the video, but this is much easier from a standing position to rotate through like this. Okay, and you can reach with an arm and you can rotate everything through here, but meanwhile my head's staying. So I don't wanna do this. It's not achieving anything, I'm gonna do here. If I was struggling in right rotation, I would rotate my body to the left. And you're trying to feel that range of motion between your shoulder blades. Lying down on a bolster or a foam roller just to squeeze, so my hips don't open up. And I'm gonna lay my head on the ground, 90 degrees and 90 degrees here. Keep your head or your nose focused on your arm if you can. And then you're gonna try and bring this shoulder blade to the floor behind you. And again, you can see my body rotated right, but my head is maintaining left rotation. And you're gonna work through that. Both sides, start to whichever side's easier for you. 20 to 30 reps at a time is best. I'd rather you do 20 to 30 reps for one minute, 10 times throughout the day, rather than 10 minutes at the beginning of the day or the end of the day. The importance here is uh, volume more than production at one specific, specific point in time because this is gonna be easier for your nervous system to adapt to or just easier to keep you in the groove throughout the entire day, okay?